So today I am cooking something for you guys to just have a beautiful meat substitute that you're going to love the flavor and you're not going to be thinking, oh, I need a steak, I need a steak. You're going to be thinking, wow, this is amazing. I can't believe that I used to eat steaks. Okay, so as you can see, there are plenty of mushrooms and as you can probably already tell, these are the meat substitutes. Okay, so what I did was I obviously wash the mushrooms because you have to do that and you have to wash them very thoroughly because they're mushrooms and after that I added some beautiful spring water to this beautiful pot right here and some oil whichever oil any oil of your choice and now it is time to add the wonderful spices salt of course is a must because if you want to have a meaty flavor, you're gonna need some salt. Next, you've got to obviously add some garlic powder because garlic is one of the main things that you have to add to food if you want that meaty flavor. If you don't have garlic, it's not gonna taste the way you want it to. So here we have some beautiful paprika. This is, is going to be so delicious. You add some paprika to taste and honestly, those are the main spices that you have to add. If you want to add anything else to add to the flavor, like for me, I'm going to add turmeric because it adds to the flavor as well as helps me with my pain. and. Anything else, like some people will even add cinnamon, and actually I might add some cinnamon, but very little. So it just adds just a nice extra oomph to the flavor. So as you can see, these are permanent mushrooms, and these are the only mushrooms that I can tell from my research that actually have B12 content that are plant-based and one reason why I love these mushrooms so much. So I am boiling these mushrooms on uh, low heat and I'm going to leave it like that for about five minutes. After that five minutes of boiling, I add it to this beautiful pan and finish the cooking at high heat until they are tender and delicious. I would suggest sauteing the mushrooms because in terms of minimal loss of nutrients and for the best taste and texture, sauteing is the best and boiling and things like heating them in the microwave would remove a lot of the nutrients from the mushrooms and I'm pretty sure that you want delicious mushrooms that actually taste great. So after about five minutes at high heat I suggest removing about 75% of the liquid that is in the pan. As you can see here, it is much better and it is cooking well and I have changed it to medium heat. So as you can see here, the mushrooms are done. This is about 20 minutes after the initial 5 minutes of boiling and 5 minutes on high heat. So in total about 30 minutes of cooking and you know they're ready to eat and done cooking when they have browned. I have added a couple of sweet potatoes that I have baked in the oven and sliced up to have a beautiful plate of food and about three avocados as well. I have added some coconut oil on top of the sweet potatoes after baking of course to act as sort of um, vegan butter. I have 
finally added my finished mushrooms to my beautiful plate and I'm ready to eat. Now you may be wondering why I don't have too much on my plate. There's only about three or four different uh, pieces of vegetables on my plate because I like to keep things simple when I'm eating. And when you keep things simple like that, especially having uh, fruits and vegetables in your diet, then it is easier for your body to digest it and for your body to absorb all the nutrients. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Be sure to check out my other channels, my comedy channel and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays and my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Mm -hmm.